Hi, this is the sixth video on sexual dysfunction. In this video, we will discuss female orgasm problems. There are many possible factors ranging from reduced sexual desire, pain during intercourse, difficulty becoming sexually aroused, and psychological and relationship factors, including anxiety and post-traumatic symptoms that can affect a female's orgasm. The physician must determine if the female has been anorgasmic or can experience orgasms from other actions such as masturbation, manual or oral stimulation, even though she is non-orgasmic during intercourse. The main symptom of orgasmic dysfunction is the inability to achieve sexual climax. Other symptoms include having unsatisfactory orgasms and taking longer than normal to reach climax. Women with orgasmic dysfunction may have difficulty achieving orgasm during sexual intercourse or masturbation. Therapy can include reinforcing the importance of clitoral stimulation, discussing the most appropriate positions for stimulation during sexual intercourse, reinforcing the use of sexual aids, videos, magazines, books, and self-stimulation. Sensate focus exercises may be recommended. The technique of sensate focus was initially developed as a sex therapy technique by Masters and Johnson in the 1960s. It involves a series of behavioral exercises that couples do together in order to enhance their intimacy and connection. Sensate focus is about touching and being touched, two distinct activities. You can maximize the potential of sensei's focus by beginning without preconceived notions of what you will experience, how it will feel, how much pleasure it will produce. In other words, begin with an open mind so as not to color your experience and feelings. The objective is to set the stage for sensuality rather than sexuality. This means that no matter how turned on the partners might become, they must consider off-limits, the touching of genitals or breasts, having oral sex, intercourse, or other types of sexual involvement. This prohibition sets a clear focus on the sensual side of touching as a distinct entity in its own right. It also serves to removing any pressure on either partner to respond in some particular way. In addition, it allows for new discoveries and avoids ingrained behavior patterns. In the next video, we will discuss small penis syndrome and sexuality in the elderly. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.